You should walk around your house with the eyes of a burglar. But I'm not. Hello, my name is Corporal Madden. I'm with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. And today I, I want to bring to mind walking around your house with the eyes of a burglar. And what we mean by that is walk around and see what, what or where you might be vulnerable. Uh, when you walk through, you're going to make sure that, that your windows are always shut and locked. Um, you're going to want to make sure, that, obviously, that your doors are locked. Um, you have sliding glass doors. Be mindful of your sliding glass doors. Um, there's, there's items out there at Lowe's, Home Depot that you can actually uh, affix to your doors to help keep them more secure. You can put um, um, poles or uh, broomstick handles down at the bottom so they're, they're not jimmied open easily. Uh, one, of, one of our big things is lighting. Lighting is helpful if you have lighting at nighttime or motion sensors. Lighting is a good deterrent. It usually keeps the bad away. Not always, but, it, but it's a step in the right direction. Uh, with your windows, you know, as we know, people can break windows and, and maybe gain access into your house. Think about shrubbery. Think about uh, going to Lowe's or Home Depot or any of your nurseries and, and asking what type of shrubbery is, is aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but yet functional as a crime prevention. Example, a thorny bush or a rose bush or something that, that's going to hurt or be discomfort to the bad person, yet uh, serve the purpose of, of beauty in your yard. Be safe, Pasco.